Hi. Okay. So I just wanted to talk about um, balance. Balance while you're homeschooling. It's the end of, almost the end of May, and this month has been really busy for me because I've been tr trying to restart my blog, get onto vlogging for YouTube, as well as research homeschooling um, for my state and as well as curriculum, schedules. It's been a very heavy month for me, um, but I'm trying to figure out how to balance it all and how to make sense of it. Come September, it's gonna be even more busier. How do I do this? I do a lot of things outside of homeschooling. You know, I'm a Christian, so I go to church a lot. I'm very active in church. Um, besides our regular services and prayer services, I'm on the praise team. I'm also the director for the chorale or choir. And I'm also a director for the play ministry that we have at our church. So I end up doing a play every Easter and Christmas. That's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of work. So um, I also feel the Lord leading me into going back to school to get my master's. I currently have a bachelor's in psychology, but I really feel the Lord leading me to get my master's in education. So that's another thing that's going to be added onto my plate within the next year or so as to, I don't know exactly when to start it, but that's going to be happening as well. I'm still a mother and I'm still a wife and we know those responsibilities are a lot. You know, I'm still cooking, I'm still cleaning, I'm doing laundry. I am trying to create things, trying to bake, okay? So I'm trying to do a few things at once and I need to know and learn how to, it looks like I'm naked, but I'm not, I'm really not. I need to know how to balance it all and make sense of it and not go crazy. Um, there's just a bunch of side projects that are happening in my mind and in my heart that I'm like, oh, I need to do, I need to do. This year for December for our Christmas play, I felt, I really feel led to write the play. Um, that's not an easy task. It's not overnight. It's just um, trying to work out how to not get overwhelmed. This month, I wasn't even fully homeschooling, just researching. And this month, because of all the moving parts that were happening, um, I really didn't homeschool Riley. And it was okay. I kind of declared it like a month off. Um, even though we're not officially homeschooling, I have been teaching her since about February, March and, you know, reading simple math. Um, I stopped that and, um, for the month of May to just give me a breather to try to figure out my stuff. Um, just a couple days ago, actually, I just started giving her some worksheets and some crafts that she can do. And she loves it. I and and yesterday, to my surprise and and gratefulness, I popped out uh, ten uh, sight words, um, and I just said, "What's this word? What's this word?" And she just knew every one of them. And I was like, "Oh, thank God!" You know. Um. So while I'm trying to figure this all out, I've kind of put my brakes on homeschooling for the month of May. We'll see how June and July go. Um, but for the month of May, I put my brakes on so that I can figure out how to balance it all. So that's kind of like my thing right now is just figuring out how to balance. How am I going to balance being a homeschooling mom, a wife, a Christian in church that does a lot in church, um, fulfilling some things and some passions that I have, like getting my master's in uh, education, um, writing again in a really big way, maintaining my blog, also maintaining and building up my own personal business. Um, here's Riley, she just jumped on the couch. So that's kind of just my thing and how to figure that out. I just wanted to just check in um, with you guys to kind of get your feedback on how you do that. There's many of you, many of you that I follow that have three, four, five, six kids and you're homeschooling. I just need to know how you're doing that. I have one child and I already can see that I could become overwhelmed easily because of the things that I'm trying to do in this season in my life. Of course, God is my strength, um, but we need to use wisdom. So I need to figure out how y'all are doing it. If you like this video, 
please hit thumbs up, subscribe, give me feedback, ask me questions. Great. Have a great day.